so and don't try to confuse the interviewer because whomsoever is conducting the interview he has all he she has already researched and asking you the questions hello everyone and welcome to our channel placement interview and today we have with us mr timur soni a designer verification at qualcomm so mr timur welcome to our channel placement interview and would you tell us something about yourself Yeah, hi Sonia. Thanks for inviting me to your platform. I am Timir Soni. I am basically from Vadodara, Gujarat. I did my graduation in electronics and communication engineering from Nirmal University. So, after completing my graduation, I started working in a semiconductor based company called E Info Chips. after working there for like 2 two, two and a half years i joined qualcomm as a design verification engineer uh, from my childhood days i have little bit interest in maths and solving puzzles so i opted for engineering field yeah, and in mean time i like to do jogging sort of things so yeah whenever i get time in a, like in evening or a morning i used to have a walk like 1 1 2 km daily so that's how i used to spend my day so would you tell us something about the company you are currently working yeah currently i am working in qualcomm so qualcomm is us based multinational company it is like it is worldwide famous for developing designing and manufacturing of the semiconductor and the telecommunication wireless product so whenever the word qualcomm comes right so first thought comes in all people is that processor that snapdragon processor as we know that whenever the computer laptop comes right that intel comes into the mind but for the cell phones whatever that heart we say right the heart of that cell phones mobiles that is being designed by the qualcomm and another flagship thing is the modems that modem means the it is like modulation demodulation thing so that connects our cell phone to uh, internet so through the through each we can have that internet connectivity in our phone so what are the roles and responsibilities that you have to go through in your day to day life about your job profile specifically yeah so currently i am working as a design verification engineer for camera sub system so talking about day to day job responsibilities like we as we know that it is a soc system on chip right so once that chips get fabricated it gets fabricated in the bulk so we need to be very cautious before the chips gets into the fabrication part so whatever that rtl code that we dumped in our soc that system on chip right that needs to be thoroughly verified so to verify that we used to create virtual environment to verify that whole that if we say it is a system on chip that it is tiny size but it is consisting of billions of transistor so if something gets wrong at any of that end so our whole processing will be getting failed we will be finding bugs so we see that after like 6 6 month new new processor segments are coming snapdragon 888 firstly it was 700 series and 800 now 888 888 plus is the latest uh, flagship processor so for that we need to have intermediate checkers we need to develop our verification environment through which we can drive the data so as you know the skills are really very important in any profession we talk about nowadays so what is the basic skills that is required for the job profession as yours yeah so talking about the skills firstly we have your logic and logical reasoning should be quite good then we have that verilog one one very log language we have in which you we used to verify our environment that is one language like c c++ language is there right that is very log language then system very log language and we have one centralized methodology uvm that is universal verification methodology so it is like just like c c++ just like some uh, syntax are different so main thing your logical you should be quite strong in logic building if you are good in logic building then it would be quite good so any resources or platforms that you want to mention in order to gain such technical skills that you mentioned that sure. there are a couple of 
things websites that you can refer firstly verificationguide.com so it is very good website through which you can learn whole verification uh, environment from the scratch they have provided tutorials concepts also they have provided interview questions then we have chipverify.com then verificationexcellence.in also i have also one my personal blog vlsi blog in which i used to interact and i used to post few concepts and interview related questions and all that is uh, verificationmentor.com so during the recruitment period how was the question and answer process handled at your camp yeah actually i was off campus place right so i was trying my luck for qualcom but it was not working out so i had my one of my senior working in qualcom so i asked them to refer me so on one point i received a mail from hr so she wanted to have one telephonic conversation so we yeah, agreed with for the telephonic conversation and we had telephonic conversation regarding the job opportunity in qualcom so first thing she asked that the location is hyderabad would it be okay for you so any advices that you want to give us to our future aspirants who wants to join the same role as yours yeah advice in the sense be focused on your fundamentals and sometimes the situation during interview will come where you will be completely stuck right so at that time don't get bogged up or don't get panic interview who is taking interview it is also like human being they also know our philosophy so they just stay calm just whatever you are thinking whatever comes into your mind just convey them and i have seen couple of students while giving the interview they speak in a low pitch so sometimes it is the voice is not clear to the interviewer so speak in a such a manner that is completely audible and whatever you speak have that clarity in what in whatever you are speaking so and don't try to confuse the interviewer because whomsoever is conducting the interview he has all he she has already researched and asking you the questions so thank you so much mr timir for joining in with us today of course your resources and your explanation will be a great influence for our viewers and viewers do let us know in the comment section below and do not forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel please minute and thank you so much mr timir for joining in with us today it was amazing talking to you